Hey guys, I'm back with another video here, um, and this is going to be on people printing or having trouble printing with new printers on Yosemite or scanning using Yos Yosemite. And a lot of this comes from the fact that they're using air print drivers um, and not their actual printer drivers. Um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. I already made a video on how to set up your normal drivers and I'm just going to show you how you can scan and use the other apps um, that might come with your printer. Um, so first off is printing. This is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, If you want to look at your printer queue, you can go to system preferences, come into here, um, open your queue, and then this will show you of course everything right here and you can see I have low ink. Um, that's always annoying. But um, what's one thing that that I never had before until I updated my driver and got it off of AirPrint is I could not actually view my supply levels. Um, this would always bounce back with an error saying that I didn't have um, a driver installed. So I had to actually go onto Epson's website, download their uh, driver package, and now once I set it up, uh, you know I can finally get this. Uh, for my supply levels. The other thing um, that this printer has is uh, it, I can print to CDs so I can make my own CD labels and as you can see here I have one right here uh, from my high school and before if I tried printing this it would kick back saying pretty much the exact same thing that I didn't have a driver installed and, and it was just a hassle trying to figure all this out and so you know if, if you're having printer troubles, make sure that you do have your proper driver installed. Um, that'll go a long way in fixing some of your problems. Um, I've seen some other talk on discussions about, um, you know, other ways of fixing things. But, you know, first things first, come into your system preferences and check all of your settings in here before you start messing around with... Um, other files and folders on your computer because you don't want to screw something up and then uh, have your computer be uh, you know a little tougher to troubleshoot and now I'm going to talk about uh, scanning so if you want to come into here click scan uh, this will open open up a scanner um, and I know some same thing before you know if you had air print sometimes this wouldn't work and you couldn't actually get your scanner window um, and then same thing here, you would just put something on your scanner lid, hit scan, it'll do its whole warm up. I don't have anything on there right now, so you'll just see a blank screen come up when it's done scanning. Um, and you can of course choose wherever you want this to be scanned to. By default it will be pictures, your picture folder. Um, but you can you know, mess around, change that to whatever you want. And there you go, you have your blank document. Um, but that's that's how you would scan uh, if once you have your own drivers and all that stuff set up. So I hope this is helpful. And you know, if you want to like it, you know, great. It's really helpful. If you have any questions, you know, leave a comment below, and I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. Thanks.